Hi, my name is Pancho Celeron, and I'm the sales manager at Western Trade. I am here today with Oscar Jean, our hybrid IT manager, and uh, today I am going to have the opportunity to talk to him about the uh, Microsoft Azure Stack by uh, Hewlett Packard Enterprise. Hi, Oscar, how are you doing? Good, Pancho, I'm great, I'm good. Great uh, it's always a pleasure to be here and, and you know, being part of of uh, communicating to our customers through the new trends and technology that as Hewlett Packard uh, uh, we have, I mean, it's always a good thing to. That's awesome. And uh, Oscar, since we're talking about the Azure Stack, can you tell us, give us an overview of what the Azure Stack is, first of all? Well, we all, we all I mean, there's a new trend in the market, which is not so new. We have a couple of years now being, uh, being deployed, and it's uh, everything about the cloud. I mean, we all know about the cloud, but there's a huge difference between speaking about the cloud and working towards the cloud. Um, it's not just because as a company we want to we want to be cloud ready. It means that I'm going to change my philosophy of company. Uh, it's going to be a change of infrastructure, not only on the hardware part, not only on the server part, but as well of the storage, the networking, and also the software. And not. That's the, it doesn't stop there. We also need to involve our finance department and, and, and our marketing department in order to uh, you know, uh, fulfill the needs of SLAs between uh, what the service provider is going to give us or what the cloud is going to offer us regarding uh, how, um, how many virtual servers, how many storage capacity, and also how my people is going to accommodate and sell that infrastructure to the final clients. So it's not just about being cloud ready, it involves a lot. And especially what you mentioned about the Azure Stack, uh, as Hewlett Packard, we have developed a whole infrastructure which involves our, our best technology, which is DL380 servers and the whole component storage, uh, especially on the hyper-converged part. And uh, it, tro it aims the need that our client have to have everything on premise. Right. No, very interesting. That's absolutely yeah. right. And uh, a lot of our channels might be thinking like, well, what differentiates the Hewlett Packard Enterprise uh, Azure yeah. stack versus other brands? What is that exactly is the difference? Well, that is the most beautiful part about Azure Stack, Hewlett Packard Azure Stack, because we have developed the solution that involves, you know, like I was saying, storage, servers, networking, especially rack, all in one brand. And, 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 and the beauty of it is that I get to manage everything on a single platform, especially with Azure Stack. I know we have a, 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 a uni, unified platform, which is uh, the Azure Stack itself, where you can provide services where you can provide you know the application that is, that every uh, company needs. So, but answering the question, I will definitely summarize in the management and the ability to uh, um, to grow as much as little and grow as much as you need. There are some limitations on growing. For example, there uh, we're now we calling it region. We can have two regions on a single platform, and we are working towards on having four platforms on each region. And you can have a region one and region two. What does that mean? It means that if I have, I'm gonna do my short stack on premise, and that is something that I like to point out. Not everything has to go to the cloud, especially cloud is not so it's not cheap, it's very expensive. Now, in order to maintain a real functionality and growth, you have to focus on premise. And this is when we come and we deploy our services. Now, if you want to start on, on a, and the simpleness that it brings, you can grow, you can start by four nodes and you can grow up to 12 nodes, especially, especially on region, region one. But guess what? Now you can have another node which will give you 24, uh, 24 nodes in a single region. We're working into having two more nodes, which will it will give us four more uh, or four racks capacity. Then we will have up to what eighty two uh, nodes on, right. on premises. So just imagine uh, the capacity that you will have not only on creating virtual machine because uh, Azure Stack, Hewlett Packard Azure Stack, is not all is not aiming only virtualizing the servers. It what we're looking for is to have a summary of services and application that you can have on premise. Great. And if I am a channel partner yep. and one of our clients, and I'm interested in selling the Azure Stack, uh, what do I need to have in order to be able to do so? 
Yep, uh, sure stock enough for everybody. First of all, you need to have a certain certification, which is Microsoft have uh, really uh, told us uh, or really moves our clients into having is the CSP. It will give you the knowledge how to manage their, their platform, give you the knowledge how to uh, provide services, how to uh, have different instances. So what, will, what I would recommend, first of all, is to certify yourself. Certify yourself with Microsoft CSP as well with a Hewlett Packard Enterprise uh, Sure Stack uh, functionality or service and solution, and, and, and then you are ready. And then you're ready. And we also have services, Pancho, because uh, like I mentioned at the beginning, uh, having or, or moving my company towards a cloud environment or a cloud ready environment is not going to be easy. And some of our, of our clients does not have the knowledge or experience to uh, move or help their client, their final client, in towards that uh, strategy. Right. So we do have services in Hewlett Packard. Well, is that where we come into play? <laughs> of course, right. of course. I mean, we're, as West Ham, we're there since the beginning. I mean, if one of our clients need uh, to move their final client into this strategy, just go ahead and call our representative. There's a, a lot of representatives we have towards the Caribbean and, and, and Central American market where you can contact them and we will uh, we will uh, get you in place uh, with Hewlett Packard Services as well and in order to move towards that strategy. And that's why at West Ham we are uh, differentiating ourselves from so many other uh, vendors uh, and wholesalers because we do uh, know what we, what we promote to our clients. That's great. Well, you heard it from uh, Mr. Oscar himself. Uh, if you or you have an end user that is interested in this type of like hybrid IT type of solution, uh, you know who to call. So uh, till the next time, we'll see you. Bye bye. Thank you, Oscar. My pleasure, Pancho.